10 reasons how to win the battle in your life. Number one, I'm talking about drugs, drinking, sex, and, and demons. Yes, drugs, drinking liquor, and sex, and not being married. And demons, uncontrollable. So 10 reasons how to win the battle in your life. Number one, fasting is the key abstinent from food or things that trigger the habits. Number four, faithful is the door to go through. Number three, faintness is when the devil see you attack, attacking you, and peace yourself this year or pace yourself this year. Number four, family is a source comeback on the devil, on the enemy. Isolation, isolation is slipping backwards. And five, be firm in your choice to fight. Glory to God. Be firm in your choice to fight. Number six, cast out fear to let go all the way being free. And seven, face your terror with the word of God. Glory to God. And number eight, find scripture to help you conquer the addiction in your life. Number nine, bearing the fruit of the spirit in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Glory to God. And number 10, you don't have to fight because it is fixed. We just must praise and worship God for fighting for us while we are asleep. Let's go over this fast. Let's go over the 10 F's. What we got to do, we got to fast. Number two, we got to be faithful. Number three, faintness. Glory to God. Number four, family. Number five, be firm. Number six, cast out fear. Number seven, face your terror. Number eight, find scriptures. And number nine, bearing the fruit of the Spirit. In Galatians 5, 22 and 23. And a tenth reason, and I'm going to stay on this one because this is very important. Don't, we don't have to fight because it is fixed when Jesus Christ died on the cross. We just have to praise and worship the God for fighting for us while we slumber and while we sleep. Hey, glory to God. I'm going to tell you 10 reasons how to win the battles in your life. You don't need to go to no therapist. You don't need to lose your mind. You don't need to walk the floor and pace the floor. You don't need to take no pill, no glory to God, no medicine. You don't need to go to the psychiatric ward. But you need to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. There's scriptures, my friend, the Bible that can help you with demons, that can help you with drinking, that can help you with gambling, that can help you with your sexual addiction. There are scriptures in the Bible that can help you conquer whatever you're going through in your life. The Bible is basic instruction before leaving earth. I'm telling you, you see, the Bible says, I sent forth my word and heal them. God's word is power. And if you don't get into the power, my friend, you're going to be losing every time you fight against the devil. You fight against habits because I'm telling you, the Bible says, casting all your cares upon him because he cares for you. Jesus Christ cares for you. The devil don't care for you. The devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus Christ said, I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus Christ said, I come to set the captive free. Hallelujah. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make 
you free. Do you want to be free today, my friend? The only thing I do is follow the, the, the 10 F's in your life. And God is faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So I'm telling you, my friend, how to win the battles in your life. And you can win the battle right now if you trust in the King of Kings and Lord of Lords.